Econ John here. In this video, we're going to talk about the solo growth model. Let's go. A quick word about the solo model. The solo model relies more on algebra than calculus and has a lot of equations to solve for, so don't get nervous. Write down everything presented in this video. You'll need it. What is the solo model? The solo model is a set of equations used to describe macroeconomic growth, where each equation represents an economic variable or sector. These set of equations are a production sector, which is represented by a single Cobb Douglas production function, the price of capital, which is equal to the marginal product of capital, the price of labor, which is equal to the marginal product of labor, savings or investments, where sa our savings rate is between zero and one, our capital transition equation, which is also called a law of motion, where our depreciation rate is less than one, our labor growth equation, where our population growth is between negative one and one, and a consumption equation. Like all other equations, there are exogenous variables, endogenous variables, and parameters as listed on this slide. Analyzing our basic solo model, we often want to measure GDP or output per worker and capital per worker. We do this by simply dividing our YT and KT by labor force LT, right? This gives us a set of lowercase variables where our per capita equations are between 1a to 4 and 7, which would go and give us our output per capita, rental rate per capita, wage rate per capita, investment per capita, or consumption per capita. However, for our, for our law of motion, right, we go and we have to divide by LT plus 1 because we're going to be dealing with KT plus 1 because that's how our law of motion is defined. Right? If we subtract KT from both sides of this equation, we go and we get 5C, which is what we would call our solo equation. Now that we've defined the solo model, we want to know the conditions by which it comes into equilibrium. Equilibrium in the solo model is called steady state. This occurs when the values at period T and T plus 1 are the same. The steady state which we are interested in is the steady state per capita capital, which is that KT plus 1 is equal to KT, which is equal to K, because all other steady states can be derived with it. This makes the following implication about our solo model, which is now equal to 0 as opposed to KT plus 1 minus KT. We can pull out that first term over there, which is 1 over 1 plus N, and get our investment per capita minus N plus delta times K, and that is equal to 0. That boxed equation is the solo equation in steady state. You can use this to find the steady state of capital and as it follows the steady states of all other variables. Rearranging, we get K star. This is the steady state of capital. From this, we can solve for all other endogenous steady states, namely equations 1b to 4b and 7b. The steady state values that we end up deriving are the steady state values of per capita capital, the steady state values of per capita output, the steady state values of per capita capital, the steady state values of per capita labor, and the steady state values of per capita consumption. These were all found by subbing in K star into equations 2B to 4B and 7B. So that's the solo model. That's how you find steady state. I hope this helps.